boy do I have an awesome home to show you guys today. We are in Staten, Oregon. If you didn't hear that, I am in Staten, Oregon. And this is one of my favorite homes right now on market for, I believe, $675,000. Single story, has great square footage, great customized touches. Built um, from the looks of it in the late, early 90s. Um, I could get corrected on that one, but uh, I just really love the layout, but the property size too. If you guys are out of state or even local and you see this video, look at the property size. We're at like 0 0.26, 0 0.24 of an acre. And that is what Staten and these smaller community towns are all about. Usually we're justifying something, a house or the lot. In this case, I really think this is that diamond in the rough where we're getting both for the price of one. Uh, we got really good square footage, really good layout because the ceilings are high. You got a double vanity sink, full bath on one end of the house, two full-size bedrooms. And these bedrooms are not small. It looks like flooring has been laid. Uh, this is a laminate. There are some portions of this house that are real wood. Uh, you're gonna walk into the main living area. Yeah, you got some outdatedness going on, but take that out and you got some really good space there for an amphitheater. Look at this, a beautiful ceiling. It's an indented ceiling, formal dining room area. It's a little rainy out today, so I'm gonna leave the blinds closed and I'm gonna show you guys this backyard at the very end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. We brag about having a yard, having greenery, having nature here in Oregon. This is certainly one that you don't wanna miss. It's backing up to a farm field right along the uh, Sanium River. You don't have a river view, but you're definitely close by. My buddies and I, we used to actually sneak through the field and go jump off the cliff is what we called it. It's like a 20, 25 foot cliff thing you get to run and jump off of. So this is bringing me back some memories growing up in this community. This will be your master bedroom. You got crawl space access as usual in one of these spare closets, a really deep closet. Really nice space in this master bath. Um, you know, you got that pink tiling. There, there are some cosmetic updates. I would see the new owner, the next owner doing, but ultimately, I mean, this is, this is cosmetic stuff. You're not gonna be spending a fortune. You're gonna be doing some paint, countertops. I would leave the floors the way they are. I don't hear any squeaks. You're gonna be changing out the gold knobs on the doors, trim possibly, if you'd like. But there's a really cool space in this too that leads out towards the garage. Uh, laundry room, obviously. I'm gonna take you to the backyard through the garage door so you guys can have this visual that I first got when walking into the home. I thought it was, it was a pretty, Nice view, if you ask me. And it's all covered patio with a gas hookup for your barbecuer. But just look at that. Just look at it. I got quiet there, so you could hear the birds chirping. Okay, if you heard the birds, I mean, this is what Oregon's all about. You have peace of mind in your backyard. It's green, lots of green to be running in, lay your feet on. But then ultimately they made a nice little garden space. I see blueberry trees. So you're gonna be able to be making blueberry pie year round. You got this beautiful rose bush intertwined on one of these beams and the covered area for your entertaining and grilling purposes. So it doesn't matter what age you are. You could be a new starting family. You could be 55. This is a single story home. I'm gonna take you guys to the edge of this uh, white picket fence as I would like to call it. So you can see exactly what is your backyard 
who is your backyard and why this is just such a good community uh, to be present in. Driving through here, you go through like an older subdivision, but then the further back you get, the newer the houses become. So this was a, a later 90s, early 2000s development, which uh, really good quality custom homes, I, I believe, with RV parking. Oh, look at these trees. Got some really nice blueberries. That that makes me excited. So I grew up with some blueberry trees in my backyard as well. This owner clearly loves their rose bushes. But here in about a month and a half, we are gonna be seeing what springtime in Oregon looks like. Uh, but for the sake of the video, we are here in Staten, Oregon today. And just giving you a quick street view of the other houses around us. Really nice homes. Really nice homes and taken care of. So this, it's exciting. Whenever I see listings like this come on market, like I just think this is a nice quality home that the, the current owners, they've taken time, appreciated, they've loved, and um, who knows where they're at in this stage of life. I would be selling possibly because I have so much equity in it. You just can't afford not to sell sometimes. So I'm gonna go through the home really quickly again just so you guys can view it. I feel like I rushed a little bit just because I was so excited for the backyard. I'm a yard guy. I love doing my lawn care and that type of stuff, so. Master bath. Master closet. We're gonna circle the opposite way we came in through the kitchen. I just like having that like little breakfast nook over there. It's just beautiful with the windows. The natural light is serious in this house. I really wouldn't have to have the lights on if I had all these blinds up. And the lighting, it's all ceiling lighting. So nothing really hangs down low. All these fixtures you can replace. The back patio door, how convenient is that? The grill is right outside and it's completely covered. It's a lot of space in there. And then we're gonna get that entertainment area. I would say this house could be lacking, you know, not having two entertainment spaces, but I mean, ultimately you're getting really nice sized master bedrooms. And you could really do something with, with that uh, entertainment wall. Maybe open it up. We got a three bedroom, two bath, home here in Staten. And if you really are interested in price, I, I can get you um, more details dialed in. I just saw this on market, it was vacant, and I needed to come see it. Just because I know this location, this area, it's fabulous, and you really just don't see homes like this hit market that often. Last time going around back. All this covered area. Concrete, the way it's poured. Nice brick lay. Landscaping's immaculate. And then we do have this covered area all around the front porch. So. Really, really elegant and beautiful multiple sides of entertaining on this property and great use of space. 
All right, my name's Spencer with the Vetch's Crawford Realty Group. We tour homes all over Oregon. Today we are in Staten, one of my hometowns. I didn't grow up here, but I was very local, about 10 minutes away in another community. So I love coming and seeing real estate when it makes you excited, just like you guys as buyers, maybe possibly moving out of state here to Oregon. Uh, we help many, many clients get here and um, usually they start from these videos and this content. So if you have any questions in regards to moving here to Oregon, it doesn't have to be Staten, give us a call, email, our information's below in the comments. My name's Spencer, my wife's Mariah, and we would just love to work with you and just get a conversation going of how we can help you.